Welcome back to Chuck Chews. Today we're going to try something, and I believe I've had this before. And I can't remember if I really liked it or not. I'm, I'm thinking I didn't, but uh, Amy's Thai Pad Thai. I don't know. Is it supposed to be twice as Thai if you put the name in it twice? But I already see things I don't like, like carrots, broccoli. Don't really care for that stuff at all. This is a dairy-free, gluten-free product. Amy's meals with me tend to be hit and miss. I either like them or I don't. Big test, pull tab. Oh, it almost, almost worked all the way across. Ew. There's some liquidy in there. Had it, hasn't been out of the freezer all that long. All right. Get this thing to close back up so I can read it here. Um, let's see. Microwave oven. One slit, no wrap, and cook on high for four to five minutes. Let's stand one minute and serve. You can do it in a conventional oven at 375. Remove over wrap. Cover tray with foil and place on a baking sheet 50 to 55 minutes. Toaster oven, remove over wrap and tray, place in a micro in a microwave safe uh, microwave, place in an oven safe dish, follow conventional oven directions. So on a toaster oven, I guess you have to take it out of the thing it's in. Alright, well I'm gonna open this in since the other end's got goo all over it. And I'm going to go ahead. Put it on a plate because I just don't trust it not to ooze out the end. And let's go, it said four or five minutes, let's go four and a half. All right, what do we got here? We got uh, nutritional facts. One serving is one tray, 410 calories. 10 grams of total fat. I guess I can move this over centered. I center it so I can see it and then it's off center from a camera. <laughs> um, 10 grams of fat, zero milligrams cholesterol, 760 milligrams on sodium, total carbohydrates, is that 68? Yep, 68, and 12 grams of protein. Here is the ingredients, if you would like to pause and read that. Contains soy and tree nuts, being cashews. And it's processed in the facilities that contain wheat, milk, tree nuts, seeds, including sunflower seeds. In addition to gluten testing, strict allergen control measures are implemented at Levels of production. Amy's Kitchen does not use any peanuts, fish, shellfish, or eggs. Hmm. Here's Amy's story, in case you haven't ever seen that in any of my other videos. But uh, with that, we'll be back in about, I don't know, four minutes or so we're back it's been um yeah it's been five minutes or so uh as you can tell i've already removed the nasty nasty broccoli i kind of forgot that this had tofu chunks in it it kind of came out dry i was kind of hoping it'd be a little more moisture in there but uh okay as it was cooking the broccoli started wafting out of the microwave and um, not a not a smell I like not not at all but then I opened the door to the microwave when it was done and a big blast of soy sauce scent smell came hurling out of the microwaves and uh, that wasn't so bad but uh, all right again I'm not a fan of not really a big fan of tofu, but it 
It's a tasteless, gelatinous blob. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we get with the rice noodles. There's a little bit of a broccoli stuck in there. Some other vegetable in there. I'm not sure what that is. Wait for it to cool down. <laughs> I guess those might be zucchinis. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. It's got a weird taste. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where I fall on the fence on this one. The noodles aren't bad. It's just got the weird, weird taste to it. Yeah, I can't stop eating it. B, I'm really hungry. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'd do this one again. It's not, not my favorite in the world. And it has a bunch of stuff in there I really don't care for. Carrots and broccoli. But, uh, hey, if you've ever tried Amy's Thai Pad Thai, let me know in the comments below. You like it or not? And until the next video.